What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Disgaea 7. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the absolute best five generic units in the game. Now, these five classes, okay, are incredibly, incredibly important. Four of which you are going to have in your party, okay? These are better than even the unique classes, and they all have super, super important abilities, especially if you want to defeat Carnage Ball or Carnage Stage 15. You are going to want these classes. Now, let's talk about it, shall we? First of all, if you are still playing the demo, if you're watching this video before the full game actually releases, okay, what you want to do is, first of all, watch the video that I created about the five most important things to farm, okay? The reason being for that is you want to have five units with all mastered class proficiencies in the demo. Obviously, in the demo, you are limited to just up to the Gunslinger, Okay, in the demo, you can only get up to the Gunslinger for human characters and up to the Feline for the actual monster units. The reason this is important, okay, is you are going to want five generics in the full game that have all classes mastered. So you might as well make the most of your time with the demo before the full game releases to create five generics with mastered class proficiency. So let's talk about the actual best units, shall we? First of all, okay, you unlock units in Disguise 7 using the quest shop. Some become available every single chapter, and you will not have all of the units unlocked until very near the end of the game. Now, when it comes to actual classes you want to use, okay, the first one and the most important one is going to be the War Lady. Now, if you've played Disgaea 6 before, then you will know the reason that we want a War Lady. If you have not played Disgaea 6 and you've only played Disgaea 5 and earlier, the War Lady is essentially this game's version of the Sage, okay? It doesn't have a full arena-wide hit like the Sage did. Obviously, the Sage only had 50% accuracy with that ability. Instead, it has an attack called Full Strike. And much like the Sage's Land Decimator, this will essentially go on forever, constantly increasing its range. This is what you're going to be using to rapidly clear the item world, basically. And it's hands down one of the best abilities in the game. The War Lady is hands down the best class to use for the item world, making it essentially the go-to class, okay? This is probably going to be the class that you main, pretty much. And in fact, even my best unit, okay? Obviously, it's a fighter right now. That's because of the video I recorded not long ago. However, this was a war lady for me and just look at the damage look at the enemy kill count and so on so forth okay you are definitely going to want that as a war lady that is going to be your item world carry class now after that there are still a few important ones namely the myco now the myco unit is very very special for a couple of reasons okay First of all, I know it I know it doesn't have it right there because I haven't bought the actual evil seeds for it just yet. However, firstly, it does have a really, really good evil tea, which will reduce your movement by one, but will increase your damage by 20%. And it's only a one slot evil tea. That goes into basically every single build imaginable. Okay. However, that is not the reason you want this class. That's just a bonus. The main reason you want this class is its unique skill encouragement Maiko is the only class that can have this ability even if you reincarnate it this is a unique skill it cannot be transferred to another class what this does okay is when you use this on a character that has already acted it will be able to move and attack again so if you attack with a unit and not everything dies, you can then use encouragement on it to let it attack again. Likewise, if you try and steal an item and you don't succeed, you can use encouragement to try again. This is by far one of the most important skills in the whole game. You are going to need this skill if you want to fight Ball 
or if you want to fight the final carnage stage and unlock the unique evil tea slot likewise if you want to steal and kill the item god twos in rank 40 land of carnage gear this is also going to be vastly vastly important until you're basically stat maxed now We've gone through the war lady. We've gone through the micro. Let's talk about the next essential unit. And when I say essential, I mean you want this class in your party. This is the Celestial Maiden. Now, the main ability isn't that important here. Instead, okay, there are two really important skills for this class. Technically free, depending on how you look at it. And unfortunately, they are all the unique skills as well so let's start off in the order of least important to most important so the first one is angel's prayer this is basically a full party heal on the field okay so no matter where this unit is this will heal your characters no matter what if you use this unit in pvp for example and set the demonic intelligence up to only use this skill you're going to make it very, very hard for anybody else to beat you unless they can actually one-shot your characters. This is incredibly, incredibly broken. Now, the next one is going to be Miracle of Love. What this does, okay, is if you have a unit that dies, you can use this skill to revive that unit, allowing you to use it again in battle this actually comes in really really handy against ball and again carnage stage if a counter actually kills your killing unit off so very very help oh, excuse me very very helpful however the true reason you want this class in your party is valkyrie order what this skill does is it gives you another hit on your character it's not like encouragement that gives you another turn instead this gives you another hit so for example if i wanted to use terra star okay that would hit once however if i used an angel to use valkyrie order on a unit then the units that i use valkyrie order on when using terra star it would hit twice okay and this also stacks with the micro encouragement if i was to use valkyrie order on a unit i would then hit twice then i use encouragement and then that unit can hit two more times taking me up to four total attacks from a single unit in a single turn super super broken and again this is pretty much mandatory for doing a ball and the final carnage stage until you are pretty much stat maxed okay so super super important this is going to be a unit you want no matter what next up let's talk about the fourth most important character and this one is going to be the thief however the female thief specifically and there are some reasons for this let's take a look at the male thief first so the male thief's unique ability is treasure hunt 30 percent chance of generating a chest when defeating an enemy completely useless then if we look at its specials this is basically your general stealing skill stealth which makes these harder for enemies to target you and then these four are both the same on male and female thieves okay the reason we want a female thief specifically is so that her first unique ability, the one that you cannot change, is Art of Robbery, which increases your steal rate by 100%, aka this doubles your chance to steal. Then, when it comes to actual abilities, if you are going for the Item God 2s in Rank 40 Land of Carnage gear, if you are still trying to get your stats up, Catrick can also effectively give you a huge, huge boost. At level 9, this will give you an extra 50% hit and speed, further increasing your chance to steal. And of course, like I mentioned before, if you combine this with an Angel unit, you'll actually get two buffs basically giving you 100 percent hit and speed making it much much easier to actually steal from the item gods because in rank 40 items like if you want to steal rank 40 gear the item gods are going to pretty much have over 90 million in stats so 
as more you can get on your thief the better but again if you want to steal from the item gods you are going to need a thief at first you can stop using a thief and just use a really high stat unit once your own stats are around the 80 million mark until that point though you're going to need a thief so that's why the female thief is one of the most important classes now let's talk about number five however number five is rather unique because number five only has one very specific use case okay and this is going to be the female gunslinger and the reason for that okay is going to be for flash trigger which basically makes your normal attack hit twice this is really 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 unique circumstances okay this works for hl farming and killing ball what you would essentially do is you would use this unit to use that ability that gives you an extra normal attack so that takes your attacks up to two you then use a celestial maiden to use valkyrie order to give you an extra attack that's three attacks okay and then you can actually get a piece of gear that has the swing about property on what this does is this increases your normal attacks by one to a maximum of three and by a maximum of three that means a maximum of three from gear so i could equip this three times and then with the uh, with the previous mentioned buffs that would take my normal attacks up to six six normal attacks per turn and then if i was to use a myco with that that takes me up to 12 attacks per turn however if this was done in a fight like ball for example where we can jumbify units if you jumbify a war lady as well when i find it if you were to jumbify a war lady that also increases the attacks by one so before you use encouragement with a myco you would have seven normal attacks and then if you use encouragement afterwards you would get another seven allowing you to do 14 normal attacks in a single turn that is actually ridiculously ridiculously broken once you come to creating the perfect build because just like in disguise 6 the absolute strongest build in the game is actually related to normal attacks however it is much much harder to set up than in disguise 6 so that is why the female gunslinger is one of the most important classes it essentially has the the highest damage output in the game but only for those who actually go out of their way to fully set it up but again feel free to use any class that you want obviously every class has their own use cases and things like that and you are more than welcome to play with any class that you actually like all that i've done in this video is mentioned the five classes with the best use cases okay the best classes in terms of general overall usefulness but again you can use any class that you want but though everybody that is going to be it for this video i do hope you've enjoyed it and i hope it has helped if it has then please be sure to smash that like button and of course drop a comment down below as it greatly helps out the channel and if you want to see even more disguise 7 videos down below in the description is a link to my disguise 7 playlist all my videos are in there and of course i'm going to have a ton of guides coming over the next couple of weeks for the full game release as well until next time though everybody Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.